Hello everybody, welcome to our market report. So today we're going to make things differently because today we have a big rebound in the market. So instead of talking about day trading, we're going to talk to you about a movement, a widespread movement that, w that was made today on the housing index. So on Guru.tv we publish uh, the list at 12.30. Uh, right now it is at 1 o'clock. So actually right now at the moment on the, there's a widespread movement on home construction. So because the NA NAHB housing index has returned a reading of 18 for October up from the previous month's reading of 14. So how does it look on the graph? You see here, first of all, we broke through an important resistance because ever since the month of November, we couldn't go higher than that point. So today, home builders are being optimistic, so they think that really people are going to start invest more to build new homes. So that's why here you see the index went up today. So it has been the highest point since the April, April May of 2010. So of course, this like created a widespread sentiment. So of course, you have the ETF of home constructions on the Dow Jones, which is DGUSHB, which is actually in a breakout. So a breakout, what is it? It's only when a stock or ETF or broke through an important sideways formation. So this is a sideways formation. Let me get a clearer picture for you folks. So this is a side reformation here for, for uh, the DGUS SHB side reformation. So the stock went out of this side reformation. So when you see something like this, it's a buying opportunity to be able to enter. And also when you look at the volumes, that shows you really that there's a wave of buyers who are supporting the stock and investing a lot of money. So this is an entry point for this ETF. Also the uh, XHB. On the New York Stock Exchange, this is for the S&P 500. It is also in a breakout. So breakout simply because it broke through an important resistance that last that began at the month of August. So this is also an entry point on this ETF. And if we look at home builders, a widespread movement. So all of them did the same pattern. So all of them are in a breakout. Almost all of them. Almost all of them. We have MDC Holdings, which broke through a side reformation here and a broke through an important resistance that began at the end of the month of August. We have D. Hall Horton also, which is also in our analyst choice on Guru.tv. So D. Hall Horton is also in a breakout. And look at the increasing volumes also for D. Hall Horton. We have NVR. We have Toll Bros, which broke through an important side reformation. So this is some type of stuff that you should really look into if you want to enter long positions. Well, of course, the, the, the home builders with those stocks like are really important, uh, a good opportunity, buying opportunities to be able, of course, to make money into swing tradings. So swing tradings, which means like you enter long positions, and for the next few days, you'll be able, of course, to cash in some profits. So Tall Bros, we have also Lenar Corp, which is also actually pretty nice also, and we have also Standard Pacific, which broke through an important resistance. So of course, a lot of stocks are in a breakout, but not all of them. Some stocks are still within the side reformation. For example, we have Ovnanian Enterprises, you see, this stock is worth to watch because if ever you want to enter into that stock, well, then you have to wait for that stock to break through this point here. So at this point, which is around 135, well, then you have a nice entry point for Ovnanian Enterprises. It's pretty close. It's at 134, actually, for Ovnanian Enterprises. So at 135, I will wait for that stock to reach that point to be able, of course, to enter into swing trading because, first of all, it will revert its downward trend here and it will broke through its sideways formation. Uh, Ryland Group also worth to watch because it's totally flat and in a sideways formation. So as long as its resistance is not broken, I will not enter it, but really, you have um, you have a lot of moment, hours right now because it's one o'clock. You have about three hours before to get in that stock and to make some money for Ryland Group and Kafco Enterprise Industries. Worth to watch also for entry point if ever the stock uh, broke through this resistance here. So at thirteen forty-five, it's a go for Kafco Industries. So folks, that's all we got for you for the moment. Really, this housing index has been up today and. All the stocks, there's a momentum on the markets here with this sector. So, of course, you're able to benefit with the few stocks I've been able to show you during this presentation. So, that's all we got for you. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and also on YouTube to, with our Decision Plus channel. So, see you on DecisionPlus.com for another update on the markets. To learn more about us, go to DecisionPlus.com on the section Free Trial to try MarketGuru.tv.